Golly. Whoa. Bro, y'all ever have, when's the last time, when's the last time y'all had that bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich on sourdough, man? With some cheese. That thing going crazy. Yoo-hoo-hoo. Yo, what's happening fam? James Incognito here. Yes, coming at you with another vlog, baby. Hey, yo, so check this out, man. I'm really enjoying these uh, cooking vlogs. Uh, I'm eating good, and uh, you guys get to see what I'm having. You We're know, gonna put together this nice BLT sandwich. Bacon, lettuce, tomatoes. I don't know if I have tomatoes. Hopefully we have tomatoes in the uh, refrigerator, but uh, we're gonna go on sourdough, put a little melted cheese on that, and we're gonna make it all in the air fryer. You know? Got, got the bacon ready to go. Yes, yeah, so we basically put about, uh, I don't know, four, five, let's see, two, four, probably like six pieces in there. All right, so uh, go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and uh, set this up at 400. I'm gonna set the time to uh, eight minutes. Halfway through, we gonna uh, halfway through. We gonna flip it over. Such bacon's inside. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Let's go. So we set the air fryer to 400 degrees. Let's get it. And uh, eight minutes. Uh, four minutes in, uh, I'll open it up and switch it up. I mean, flip them over. Uh, all air fryers run a little bit different, meaning some run a little bit hotter than others. So y'all make sure to practice on your air fryer because, man, this thing is way too easy not to use. All right, guys, that's f that's four minutes in. It's got a nice little, uh, it's got a nice color to it. So let's go ahead and flip them over. I think that worked out perfect uh, for this next run. I'll probably... Leave it at the same heat, but set it up for like maybe five minutes. No, not five minutes. Yeah, maybe five minutes. So let's go ahead and put them back in. Let's just add one minute. All right, y'all, bacon is done. Y'all see the air fryer. If you figure out how to use it, man. Ow, I just burned my finger. If you figure out how to use it, it's really easy. So I basically did a... Uh, Four minutes on one side and then about another four. It didn't go the full five minutes. So you guys practice and uh, you'll get it right. All right, so now what we want to do is uh, clean this uh, pot out, take the oil out, wash it out, and uh, keep moving. All right, so let's set the bacon aside. This is out the air fryer. Sheesh. Let's go, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, so uh, here's what uh, we're going to put on that sandwich. We got some aged, sharp uh, white cheddar. We got some tomatoes. We got some avocado we're going to slice up, some nice lettuce. And uh, we'll definitely add some mayo and uh, some mustard to that. So we're going to do all that. Let's toast up the sourdough. Time to toast the bread. Let's go. All right, so... I'm going to guess this one. So it's at 400 degrees, right? I'm going to do, I don't know, maybe about a minute on one side, then the minute on the other side. And then we want to melt the cheese on there. All right. So we add some of that to it. And then we add a little bit of that. And then we add a little bit of that. All right. So the bread was literally not even in there for, bro, a minute. It was probably like 45 seconds. It's pretty toasty. So now let's add the uh, cheese. We want the cheese to melt. All right, so uh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and let it rip. All right, so the bread is pretty toasty. Cheese is melted. We're gonna go a little bit longer in there. Maybe another, uh, I don't know, maybe like 30, 45 seconds. And then it's red to go. Oh, wait. Yes. All right, y'all. Take the bread out. Ah. Ah. I'm okay. All right, so the bread is super toasty on this backside. Look. Toasty on the front side, too. Melted cheese. Ooh, we. Let's put this thing together. All right, you guys. Go ahead and 
Put a little bit of lettuce on that. Yes, yeah, sir. A little bit of uh, tomatoes. Yes, yeah, sir. It's looking fresh. I do like lettuce, bro, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of that on top. Yes, yeah, sir. Put the uh, sliced uh, avocado on the other side. Let's go. Whoa. Mayonnaise went everywhere on that. Sheesh. Let's layer it. Let's layer that with bacon now, bro. The bacon. Sheesh. These close-ups are going crazy. Bro. Alright, guys, let's uh top that off. Let's see. Sheesh. That sandwich, bro. We are ready to eat. That's that bacon, lettuce, tomato. All we need is some jalapenos. Ah, let's get it. Check this out, man. Golly. Whoa. Bro, y'all ever have? When's the last time? When's the last time y'all had that bacon, lettuce, tomato sandwich on sourdough, man? With some cheese. That thing going crazy. Yoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. All right, guys. We've done it again. Bro, this sandwich is just insane looking. This sandwich, look at this sandwich. Let's take a bite of that. Mm. Whoa. Bro, how many guys don't like avocado? Um, for some reason, avocado and bacon, sourdough, they just go hand in hand. All right, so sandwich is fresh. Have a little bit of Kool Aid. Oh man, so fresh BLT. I can't remember the last time I made one of these. Nope. Most of you guys at home have all these ingredients. Most of you guys at home have all these ingredients at home. So, you just got to make sure your bacon is not frozen. You got some good bread that you like. Whip it up. I should have put more avocado in it. That's really good. Bacon is just enough. Just right. Any less, I'd be complaining. Any more, I'd be like, bro, it's got a lot of bacon. So five slices of bacon. A quarter avocado. Lettuce, tomatoes, bananas. I think I forgot the mustard. Oh man, not a big deal, but I think that avocado alone on sourdough toasted would probably be delicious. Mm. Bro. Sam's is so good.
By the way, guys, I don't have the microphone on the camera, so it's a little windy. It might be the sound of the wind might be a little loud. I'm sorry, but we'll put it on there next time. So air fryer, man, whole sandwich. Wow. Oh. Bro, you go anywhere and try to have that sandwich, they're going to tax you. It's all 10, 12 bucks. Easier making it at home. Oh, wait, man. This summer is starting off pretty warm. At least we got a little bit of wind, but how's y'all summer going, man? Fill in the comments. Good summer, good start, bad start. Hopefully you guys are all having a good one, though. Yeah. Bro, we about to go fishing tomorrow. You guys stay tuned for the fishing. So what I'd like to do tomorrow is um pick up some live bait. They got this little It's like a little boat that's out there that sells live bait. So um we're going to try that tomorrow. Hopefully we catch some crab. We'll definitely get a catch and cook. We got two vlogs out of it. We'll get the, um, you know, fishing and timeout. And then we'll also get the cook. Oh. Mm. Sandwich. Almost done. Should have got two of these. No. This is a great flavor too. One of my favorites. Alright guys. Last bite. Sourdough bacon BLT. Had to go get that Red Bull peach flavor. Legu. Yo, so um uh, Let's go ahead and uh, rate that sandwich. One out of five. Oh, that peach flavor. Delicious. So check this out, fam. That sandwich was delicious. Definitely super inexpensive, easy to make. Uh, all done in the air fryer. You know, like I said, most of you guys have the ingredients to make that sandwich. The sandwich is busting. You can always make it your way too. You could have easily added a fried egg in there. You could make a little fried egg in the uh, air fryer, uh, although it would probably just be easier to make it on the pan, depending on you know what your like living situation is. You know, if you're in a dorm, you know you might be best off doing it with the uh, air fryer. But you know, if you're at home in a kitchen, stovetop, easily add egg to that. So, so many different ways of uh, switching it up. Add spam to it. Add whatever you know so um with the air fryer i've definitely have ruined some uh food uh with the air fryer i've definitely ruined some food before i've, I've definitely overcooked stuff i've definitely undercooked stuff so um it's always a learning process and uh kind of think of it as like an oven right because it kind of does work like an oven so for the most part most of you guys are gonna be okay cooking between 350 and 400 degrees it's just a matter of how long you're letting it go and are you flipping it and rotating it you know so Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the uh, sandwich. I'll give that sandwich a five. It was perfect. Uh, maybe a little more avocado in it would have been uh, nice, but it was it was absolutely perfect. So easy to make uh, in the air fryer, all ingredients that, that you have in your refrigerator. So uh, hopefully, you guys 
enjoyed it. And uh, hey, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, comment, man. Hit that like button for me, <laughs> that thumb up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, hey, y'all stay tuned for the fishing vlog that's gonna uh, drop tomorrow uh, and the catch and cook for tomorrow. So in the meantime, y'all take care and uh, thanks for watching. Let's go. Yes, sir.